The Commerce Justice Subcommittee will now come to order. Today, we take the uh, testimony uh, of the uh, Attorney General of the United States. The committee wishes to welcome the Attorney General, and we know he will be testifying on DOG, the Department of Justice's budget, its priorities for fiscal year 2014, and uh, also the impact of sequester this year and next year in terms of the um, impact on the Department of Justice, its mission, uh, because of its impact uh, on its employees. Later, we will also be listening to the DOG, DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz testifying for the first time about uh, oversight in terms of management issues. We are doing this. Uh, every one of our hearings listening to the Cabinet, we invite the Inspector General to come so that we have a better sense of how uh, this committee not only spends money, but how we can be a more frugal, more efficient government and to get value for our dollar. Today, we'll discuss how the Justice Department's 2014 budget strengthens national security and counterterrorism, protects the safety and security of the rights of citizens, and, uh, and how the Department ensures it uses taxpayers wisely. It enforces, the Department of Justice enforces and defends the interest of the United States. Public safety against threats, foreign and domestic, seeks punishment of the guilty while providing leadership in preventing and controlling uh, crimes and ensuring fair and impartial administration of the justice of all Americans. That's a lot. And we ask a lot of the Department of Justice, employing more than 115,000 employees. 26,000 of them are federal agents, the FBI, DEA, our U.S. Marshals, ATF. We have over roughly 20,000 prison guards and nearly 10,000 prosecutors, investigators, and legal experts. We get a lot, too, for what we do. We've asked them to do. The U.S. Marshals have arrested over 12,000 fugitive sex offenders. 12,000 sexual predators were taken off the streets because of the aggressive work of our marshals. DEA put 3,000 drug trafficking organizations, not people, out of business. And the FBI dismantled 409 criminal enterprise, enterprises. The U.S. attorneys collected $13 billion in criminal and civil penalties going again after the bad guys. They're the guardians of our justice system, and we want to make sure that we let them know we value them. So, Mr. Attorney General, when we get ready to turn to you, we want them, for all those people who work at the Department of Justice, administering justice, protecting America and its Constitution, we want to say thank you. In Maryland, we have many agencies with many wonderful accomplishments, and I'll put those into the record. We ask a lot of the Department of Justice, and as we look at this year's budget, we know that um, uh, we know that the Department of Justice has got a request from the President of $27.6 billion. We also know that in fiscal 13, we enacted a $26.8 billion, but then you faced a sequester, which took the entire funding down by almost a billion five to 25.3. Those are numbers, but wow, they must have had just a tremendous impact, and we're going to look forward to hearing about that impact. For us, we look for community security, national security, oversight, and accountability. Um, we know that uh, for your highlights, we know that there have been limited but targeted entry increases in gun violence, requesting 100, uh, 1.4 billion, uh, 379 million over 2013 request to keep our home schools and communities safe. I like the fact that we want to help states improve the quality of criminal records and also mental health records, allow schools to hire school safety personnel, and train local police on how to respond to these threatening incidents. While we're looking at, though, the <clears throat> threat that I consider the new enduring war is our threat to cybersecurity. In the last month, DOG has charged cyber criminals in a $45 million ATM heist. 
Why rob a bank when you can do an ATM heist? <coughs> there is a growing nexus between organized crime and nation states. Our nation is facing what Leon Panetta called a digital Pearl Harbor. We know that the Justice Department is requesting $668 million for FBI agents, computer scientists, federal prosecutors on the issue of cyber security. And we look forward to working with you uh, about that. There are many issues facing the budget. Um, one of the biggest stresses on the budget is federal prisons. The Bureau of Prisons request is close to $7 billion. We've added 32 new inmates uh, for a total of 224,000 people are in our federal prisons. 224 people are in our federal prisons. That's a stunning number. And it, it, it requires a lot of protection. Uh, we are concerned about keeping the bad guys off the street. We need to deal with the prison situation and also look out for the safety of our prison guards. Um, we want to strengthen national security and uh, we will be talking about that as we move along. But we also know that for state and local law enforcement, this is an area of great concern because we know the Department of Justice, the FBI through its joint task forces, the way our attorney, U.S. attorneys work, it is through state and local. There is a request of $2.3 billion for grants uh, to be able to support the investments in that effort. We look forward to hearing more about that. We also look forward to hearing from you in terms of how we can achieve both savings and be a more, uh, as I said, a sm we want to have a safer country. We need to have a smarter government uh, in terms of how we use our resources. Uh, and yet, at the same time, we want to protect all American people. 